YouTube, how's everybody doing today? We're here again for another unboxing of a Lamy pen. It's the All-Star Pen gift set. Uh, I got it uh, in the mail the other day, a few days ago actually. And I've just been waiting to open it up and show you guys uh, what it's all about. It was a great deal from my friends over at Goulet Pen Company. Uh, they do great work, I'll leave a link uh, down below. So let's go ahead and open this up. And I thought I'd do it a little bit different this time. I've done it with my saber sword, I've done it with my knife. But uh, let's uh, try it with a different kind of saber. The one from the dark side. So let's go ahead and open this puppy up. So I think we were able to uh, get what we wanted to do on this one. Good thing it didn't get the plastic inside, but let's go ahead and finish this off. And uh, we got our usual sucker. Always a good thing from those guys. A little thank you card. They packed my order with a ridic slightly ridiculous amount of care. I always like that. A little thank you card here for your support. A little sample that they have of the ink that you can get from them. It's a die mine one. I might check that one out later. But let's go ahead and open this guy up. Unroll it in the bubble wrap. Play with that later. It's always fun to pop the bubble wrap and everything. And they protected the top here. Now this is the gift set. The one I got is the purple. And I didn't have an all-star purple one and I thought this was the best way to do it because it does come with a lot of little extras. So let me just open this up here. If I can get that off. And as you can see, it comes with the all-star Lamy pen and then it comes with the Z28 uh, cartridge uh, converter. And then it comes with the cartridge in the black, red, blue, turquoise, violet, blue, black, and a green also. So those are all cartridges that are ready to go into the pen. And uh, we'll just go ahead and take this guy out of here. I can pop them out. And it's your standard all-star lamy. I mean, it's the aluminum body, very heavy, very durable. I'll go ahead and uh, take this guy off. And of course they uh, provide a blue one inside the pen itself too. It's got the steel nib on it, it's the medium. They both, uh, there's two of them that uh, they do send in the gift sets. They have the all-star blue and then the all-star purple. I got the purple like I said because I didn't have this in my collection yet. So now I will have this color in my collection. It's a little more darker purple than I thought it would be. Uh, the picture on the website uh, shows it slightly brighter. But I like this color too. Either one would have worked. I like uh, this one also. Like I said, one of the reasons I got this, uh, the purple one is because I didn't have it in my collection. And I could have got it separately with the, the medium tip and everything. But for a few dollars more as a gift set, I got all these cartridges and the converter too. So this is a great deal. Like I said, I'll leave a link down below. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and ink this guy up and uh, give it a little test run. And they did give me all these cartridges, but I'm going to bypass the cartridges for now. And just pull out the converter here. So I'm going to go ahead and ink up this little guy here. And I'm going to bypass the cartridges they sent. They're all great colors and I'll use them down the road. But like I said once before, I like to use the converter so I can do my own inks and everything. And I came across uh, an ink set I picked up at a pen show a little while ago. It's from Pilot. And it's the mini ones. And it came with three little uh, inks from Pilot in there. And I think I found a really nice purple to go with this pen. It's uh, got a nice vibrance and everything to it. So I'm going to load that up in the ink here in the cartridge. So let me go ahead and just put this guy on here. Give it a little shake. So let me go ahead and put this in here and see what we can get into the cartridge. I don't want to go too far down. We're going to bring it down into the ink, draw it up. That's not too bad. I mean, for a test, we'll run with that for now. Kind of wipe it off. That's not too bad, so uh, we'll go ahead and just wipe that guy down and go with that for now. Get them all cleaned up a little bit the best I can. Put them back on here. So I got it all inked up with this Pilot uh, Yama Budo, or Budo, one of those things. And let's see, we'll just do a little writing test. 
with this ink and the new pen. Like I said, this is a medium steel one. I heard uh, on their website or on their blog that uh, they're not going to be doing the extra fine for the United States anymore, mainly for Germany and Asia I think they'll be shipping. But I typically use fine to medium, so that should be good for me. But uh, let's go ahead and do a little writing test here and we'll see how things go. So let's go ahead and do some uh, writing with this. Uh, see how we can uh, lay down some good ink on this guy. I do like the color of the ink, the pilot ink that's coming out. It's got a nice match to the color of the pen itself. And as I write here, Lamy, oops, almost didn't know how to spell Lamy. It tends to grip the paper a little bit, but that's because of this is sketching paper that I'm using. It's not uh, your typical typing paper or whatever you may be writing on. And I notice as I go across the paper on here, it's uh, not laying down the ink as nicely when you're doing it quickly. But as you go slower, it's going to lay the ink down nice. And as you go up and down, it lays the ink down nicely too. Obviously that depends on how hard you push down or press down on the nibs. If you go slow, it's going to lay it down really nicely. There's some variance as far as pressure. These aren't flexible nibs, so they're not going to get that kind of uh, difference in them. But it does give you a little variance as far as how lightly you press and how slow you go or how fast you go. It tends to uh, lay it down a little bit better now. So I have to say overall I'm very pleased with this pen. The coloring of it was uh, a lot more surprising than I thought. I would be pleased with what they showed on the website, but a lot of times it's hard to reproduce the color of something in a photograph. But uh, I was very pleased with this coloring. The uh, nib, uh, at first I thought it was uh, not laying down the ink very well when I was going back and forth. So what I did, I went ahead and grabbed some uh, different paper out of my printer. And this is just plain uh, typing paper, printer paper and I did some uh, scribbling on it and this is what I got out of it. It was very nicely laid down as far as the ink and everything so it was uh, probably the paper that I was using before. I didn't use that pad of paper last time in my last review so I'm going to have to keep uh, that in mind when I do future uh, pen reviews for you guys. But uh, like I said this is, was a great deal. It came with a gift set with uh, seven different ink cartridges and the converter, the Z28 converter. Uh, which I used this time with the uh, Pilot Ink. I'll leave uh, links for those uh, for the Goulet Pen Company. They did a great job as far as packaging it, getting it to me, and they have great prices too. For a couple dollars more than just the pen itself, I was able to get the gift set with uh, the seven inks and the converter. So it was a great buy. Uh, check it out if you're looking for something. They have a gift set in the purple like I have here and then they also have it in the blue with the all-star the aluminum uh, bodied Lamy pens. So hope you enjoy this. I will have future pen reviews as far as uh, fountain pens and maybe other things but I do have an addiction with fountain pens so I've been collecting those here and there. Uh, I also have a Twisby coming up, uh, the mini one, so I will have that for review for you. But in the meantime, I hope you have a great time, and I will see you next time.